What was the scariest dream you've ever had? My mom getting eaten alive by an alien. I was around 6 years old. Scarred for a few years. Sorry to hear that guess they don't come in peace. Yeah, I don't think so. 10 years ago I had a dream about my mother literally dying in front of me because there was a thief in our house. I woke up really traumatized. After so much time I still remember it clearly. I'm so sorry, it sound horrible I can't imagine how I'd deal if I saw that dream. Luckily for me, when I woke up was like 7-8am, so I didn't have to come back to sleep. I once dreamed T-Series won the war hash hash oh wait. Haha <laughs> think nobody gives some youtubers like yes theory what they deserve, why are we better than T-Series? I'm in a room where everything anyone touches means death, and I know the effects of everything. My family is with me, and they want to explore, and I have to convince them otherwise and fail. Oh, another movie worthy dream. It's like Cabin in the Woods, but one of the guys used to work on creating the set. I haven't seen that, we'll see now thanks haha. I had a reoccurring nightmare as a child, where I was in the backseat of a cab being driven by my parents and I would keep accidentally falling out of the car and I would have to run, to catch up to it. On the back of the seat in front of me there was one of those uncle same I want you for the US Army, posters, and NBSP. The last usually third or fourth time I get back in the cab, the poster turned into a poster of E.T., who proceeds to slowly reach out with creepy long alien stretchy arms, and strangles me to death. And NBSP, TL, Dr. Ed strangled me to death in the back of a cab. I was having a heart attack, and begging my mom and sister to help me, but it was, like I wasn't even there. Last thing was me laying on the floor between them, looking up, and they were just talking as normal. I couldn't even look at them for a whole day after it. Okay that sounds a bit like a sleep paralysis only it was your mother and sister instead of a shadow looking thingy, it's scary. The dream itself wasn't scary, but there was this one guy on Reddit that had posted something about him dreaming about how he met his wife and they had children together. Late he woke up and found out that it was just a dream and he had a hard time coping with reality. I can't imagine how terrifying it has to be to just wake up and realize that the last few years you lived were just a dream. Oh that sounds horrifying wow. Yeah that's actually a pretty popular post on reddit which you can find, if you're really looking for it, I believe the guy was telling the truth. I have recurring nightmares, where I'm walking on a beach and suddenly I'm surrounded by water, and I can't move. I also have nightmares, where people are trying to break into my apartment, but fortunately I'm fast enough to grab a revolver, but suddenly my fingers are not strong enough to pull the trigger, and I end up dead. Once I had a dream that I was being chased by something really huge, and it's dark all around. To escape, I run into an abandoned building that hasn't been fully constructed, and as I look outside, it starts raining blood. That sounds very scary could possibly be turned into a movie. Haha <laughs> yeah, I still remember waking up drenched in sweat. I can imagine a pool of sweat. I sometimes see recurring dreams like this. Only that I'm stuck in the same position, in running mode with whatever is chasing me breathing down on my neck. Have you tried dealing with it? Next time you see that dream, maybe you should fight it and it won't be that scary anymore. The one where I was inside my body searching for my lungs. I used to be a chain smoker back then. Other than the sleep paralysis experience, where it literally felt like someone was standing over me, I once dreamed that I was at a fast food restaurant and this man grabbed me and was trying to drag me away. I tried screaming for my dad, but couldn't get any words out. Carry a nuclear buster w u everywhere, I'm a woman in a third world country haha <laughs> I constantly need one. Not a bad idea, I'm from the US and sleep with a gun near me. I can understand that. I often have that recurring dream of going to class on the last day, completely unprepared for the exam, because I just forgot to go to that class the whole semester. Apparently, it's a pretty common dream among college graduates. Seems the stress of finals leaves some lasting effects. It's a stress caused nightmare, one of the worst types. It gets me every single time, but I wake up feeling so much better knowing I actually graduated Dean's List, lol. I had this dream, where my life was the exact same, 
It was more depressing than scary but still horrifying. That's my biggest concern, and one thing I'm afraid the most, so I relate on a personal level. One time I was dreaming that a bear was attacking me. I woke up to a big dog in my face. I dreamed the entire day I had. At the time it just seemed like a strange dream, but then everything that happened in it happened in real life. By the end of the day I was really freaking out. Even the maths test questions were the same, but I got them right once in real life as I knew the answers from the dream. It really freaked me out. Only ever happened once but still makes me question it to this day. My house got visited by a demon baby and he locked us inside our house for no reason, and we could never leave. This messed me up as an 8 year old. To this day the thought of any isolation makes me panic. A chucky dream maybe? Sounds very bad for that age though, I'm sorry. I never knew Chucky was a thing at that age. It was a bald human looking baby. It was also because of that dream that I learned myself the ability to wake myself if I knew I was dreaming. I had a reoccurring dream when I was younger. Each time I couldn't remember what happened in the dream, but I could always remember the feeling I had in the dream. It felt like inevitable fiery doom pressuring on us and that something dark, fiery and a little bit demonic was involved as well. Sometimes in real life I accidentally get that feeling and it hits me really hard. The worst part is that I don't know what it is that scares and terrorizes me. Nothing fancy, just your run of the mill lucid dreaming sleep paralysis. Does that happen often? Have you tried dealing with it? I don't think this was a dream, but I had an image that was green then a few moments later I woke up at midnight and could even barely sleep. I felt like I was in danger or something. Fast forward to the evening I tell my dad that I woke up randomly and cold and go back to sleep. He told me that I woke up and panicked and called his name he just told me to go to sleep he told me I was sleepwalking and I didn't even know it. Oh that's interesting, it must have been very scary I'm sorry to hear that. Had a dream where some guy had a knife in my room and when I woke up I was scared thinking he was in my room. Oh I know that feeling. I always have dreams like this and wake up very paranoid. I don't even remember what I was dreaming about. I got jolted awake because I turned around and was inches away from a face with tarred holes for eyes and a smile that was way too wide. Holy S reminded me of Smiley Man from The Haunting of Hill House. I once had a reoccurring nightmare. It would start off with me getting dressed up to go to my confirmation at church. But when I arrive at church they don't let me in and tell me I can't be confirmed because I'm a sinner. Then my mom and dad show up and say if I don't get confirmed that day I won't be welcome home. I try different things for a while to sneak in and be confirmed but I fail and the dreams ends with me being shipped off to conversion camp. That sounds really bad. You are always welcomed at my Muslim household. Don't feel bad there are always people who will welcome you into their life. 